shall make a grief and clamor roar upon his death. I am subtle to phantom, and each corporal agent of this terrible feat. Away, and mock the time with fair show. False face must hide what the false heart doth know. Good! Ted, you gave that speech very well. You're really starting to find Macbeth. Now, let's take it again, shall we, from if we should fail. Only this time, don't get quite so far down stage, and remember to exit at the close of your line. Hmm? When you're ready. If we should fail? If we should fail. If we should fail. Screw your courage to the sticky place and will not fail. playing cards. What's the mystery? Cards and hearts. Maybe it's about gambling on love. <laughs> you would think that. Well, what do you think it's about? Deception. The hearts are black, not red. Appearances can be deceiving. Last night, the Rockwater High Drama Club was terrorized when their lead actor was found unconscious after a power blackout. Ted Wilkins? What concerns police are the claw marks across the victim's face and chest. What? The Rockwater School Board has asked daring investigators to assist in finding out what happened. Well, this has got to be some sick prank or something. Let's hope that's all it is. Good luck. <laughs> seen the school so wired. Calling it a werewolf attack. I think people are watching too many horror films. Listen, we gotta talk to Ted Wilkins about those claw marks. Somebody's idea of a joke. I don't think being clawed in the face is a joke. Besides, I heard Ted was a really sweet guy. That's no surprise. It's always a sweet guy that gets it. Bullock, those tests come back from the lab? Not yet, sir. They're examining a torn sweater, not the Ebola virus. They're trying to identify the claw marks. Oh, come on, Bullock. You've been around long enough to know when you're being had. How's the investigation coming? Well, they're interviewing staff and students. Nothing so far. This just came in. Ah, a request from the principal of Rockwater High to speak to the students on school violence. Good idea. Excuse me. Young people have it far too easy. That's what's behind teen violence. I'm going to talk some sense into them. Yes, sir. And when I'm finished, they'll be more than willing to help us flush out whoever's causing all this trouble. Hey, Tracy, did you hear about the Sadie Hawkins dance? Cole and Casey haven't noticed people have other things on their mind these days. Well, that's why the student council thinks we should go ahead with the party. It's good for school spirit. Well, I'm not in the spirit, okay? Sure. So I guess I can tell the other girls they can take their chances with Dick. I mean, nobody was going to ask him to dance because they know you two are an item. We're not an item. Okay, okay. So then he's fair game, right? Right. That's all I wanted to know. Bye. Hey, bro. Hey, how was practice? Terrible. I couldn't concentrate. I kept thinking about the attack. I've been checking it out. Found some cool stuff. Legend has it that when the moon was full, werewolves would wander the countryside preying on the innocent. Scary stuff. Hey, fantasy. What's this? Dad's optic detector. What's it for? To track our werewolf. Impossible. Canis lupus means wolf, doesn't it, sir? Canis lupus. 
Anybody could have spread wolf hair as easily as margarine across the material. It says here the pattern of hairs could only be caused by the slashing motion of a claw. This gets out to be mass hysteria. No one sees this report, understand? No one. I can't believe I let you talk me to this. Don't sweat it, bro. So, what does this detector do anyways? It emits light that's visible to the human eye. But when it hits animal residue, like body hair or skin, it glows. Had he not resembled my father as he slept, I had done it. My husband. I have done the deed. Didst thou not hear a noise? I heard the owl scream and the... Oh, I'm sorry. Let's just take it again from my entrance. Hmm? I have done the deed. Didst thou not hear it? I can't. What's the problem, Sabrina? I'm still shaking over what happened to Ted. Mr. Andrews, I can read her lines if you want. Thanks, Brett, but Sabrina's the actor. She has to get through this. Sabrina, are we well enough to give it another go? Go, get Since some Ted's water, attack, no one wants to play Macbeth. From your I tried to call him this Why morning. His mother said he's still getting over it. They must lie there. Yeah, I'm sure it's go a sick prank. Them and smear the sleepy Maybe it's not that black and white. No. This, my hand, will rather the multitudinous seas in Carnadine, making the green one red. My hands are of your color, but I shame to wear a heart so white. Why Somebody's gotta know something. They must lie there. I'm gonna go, go have a chat with Lady Macbeth. Okay, everybody, good work. Let's take a ten minute break. You've all earned it. Of all the ills that plague modern society, none has become more malignant, more corrosive than teenage violence. Sir. <laughs> what? A speech is a performance. You have to be more commanding and always look directly at your audience. And if I may make one further suggestion, you're gonna lose the kids if you use those words. Which words? Malignant? Corrosive? Ooh. They're high school seniors. Surely they can handle three syllables by now. Look, all I want is for them to stop protecting whoever's behind this. Might I suggest we try to talk their language? For example? <clears throat> On the street and in the hood, there's something going down that's bad business. A teen thing you better check out before it takes you out. <sighs> that's not even English. <laughs> Hey, Bobby. Hey, what's up? I've been at the computer for over an hour trying to figure out what the police know in this case, but they changed your access code. I checked out those footprints we found in the theater. What'd you get? I compared the tracks with various species. And? They match perfectly. So, you were standing close to Ted. Did you see anything? It was too dark. Uh, I just heard a groan and heavy thud when he hit the floor. Anything else? I already told the police. That's all I remember. But you were right next to him when he was attacked. Didn't you notice anything? Well, there was something. What? I'm not sure exactly. But it felt like a cold rush of wind. It, it whipped by me. I, I thought it was just a draft, so I, I didn't say anything. Maybe somebody just left the door open. Uh. Sorry to interrupt, but I'm the stage manager and I can vouch. All the doors were shut tight. Give me a synonym for monster. What? Just give it to me. Um, fiend. No. Demon? I already tried that. Um, beast? No. Brute? Another one. How many cups of coffee have you had? 
Look, I am trying to hack into Murphy's case file, and I know he would give it some stupid name, like, like Monster, or... All right, um... Creature? No. Well, what about, um, Savage? Yes! I'm in. Here it is. Lab report on Ted Wilkins' sweater. Leads us to believe that the markings across the face and chest were canine in nature. Most likely of the species Canis lupus. Canis lupus, that confirms what Bobby found out. The footprints? Canis lupus, a wolf. So it is a werewolf! It, it's not what you think, Larry. Yeah, you know, the whole thing's a stunt. Yeah, it's a sick joke that backfired. So, that means the Sadie Hawkins dance can go ahead as planned. Um, yeah. Good. So, when are you gonna ask me to the dance? This is where I leave. Bye. No, Dick. Larry, I'm not asking you to the dance. That's okay. I'll, I'll ask you. <laughs> you can't. It's the Sadie Hawkins dance, which means the girl has to ask the boy. That's how it works. Should have figured you'd be going with Dick Darling. Teen violence can be stopped. It is the moral duty of each and every one of you to pull yourself out of your complacency and demand of each other the highest standards of honesty and decency. On the streets and in the hood, there's something going down that's bad business. A teen thing. You, you better check out before it takes you out. Okay. Thank you. Excuse me, sir. May I ask you a question? I don't see why not. Well, why weren't the students told that claw marks on Ted's face were real? Well, maybe if you'd asked Larry to the dance, he wouldn't have opened his big mouth. Please. Now the whole school's convinced that there's a werewolf in their midst. It makes sense. Claw marks, wolf tracks, a rush of wind. I say we put up a DVT in the theater and see if the werewolf shows up again. Yeah, okay, well, you guys keep thinking werewolf. Meanwhile, I'm gonna ask around and see who has a history of sick jokes, okay? Dick, it wasn't a joke. It was an attack. Daring investigators, Byrne speaking. I need to talk to whoever's in charge. No problem. Who, may I say, is calling? Ted Wilkins. I told the police, but they didn't believe me. What didn't they believe, Ted? That it was real, completely real. And what is it, Ted? The werewolf. Oh! Werewolf? Thank you for showing up today. It is vital for school morale that this play proceed. Therefore, I'd like you all to welcome our new Macbeth, Chad Miller. Yeah. All right, let's get to work. Act two, scene three. Macduff, Lennox. Banquo, Donald Bain. So, uh, how'd I do? You did great tonight. Honestly? I don't know if I'm up to it. It's a big part. You'll be fine. Besides, you're the only Macbeth we got. See you at rehearsal tomorrow. Shakespeare have to use so many words. Now, more of the one half world. Nature seems dead and wicked dreams abuse the curtain sleep. Now, or the one half world. Nature seems dead and wicked dreams abuse the curtain sleep. Witchcraft celebrates pale Hector's offerings and withered murder. 
alarmed by a set the wolf. So we finally got to interview Ted at home. He's convinced he saw a werewolf. And you believe him? Guy's an honor student. He's as honest as they come. I'm telling you, we're dealing with the real thing. <sighs> come on, bro. It's possible. A werewolf in Rockwater High? Well, let's look at the facts. Real claw marks, eyewitnesses, and not one piece of evidence that leads to a suspect. So what do we do now? Well, werewolf folklore says that whatever a werewolf starts, he always finishes. So what has our werewolf started? That's what you're gonna have to find out. Good luck. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. We understand your concern, but let me reassure you there's nothing to worry about. Okay. Goodbye. That's 50 calls in three hours. How did that information about the claw marks leak out? But more important, sir, is how to contain the panic. The parents are demanding the school be closed down. That'll only feed the frenzy. We need a strategy. We could call in an expert. In what? Werewolf lore? I was thinking along that line. This is a police investigation, not a circus freak show. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to offer a reward to any kid with information on who's behind this. How much would the reward be? You're the expert on teen culture. You figure it out. I asked Chad Miller to the Sadie Hawkins dance. Oh, he's so dreamy. I'm happy for you. Uh, hey, did you hear? He got the part of Macbeth, so now I have two things to look forward to. A cool play with my boyfriend and a dance. You're still not going, right? I haven't changed my mind. Oh, good, because I told everybody you weren't. Nicole, why is this so important to you? Because I don't want my best friend hurt if somebody asks Dick out. Okay, first of all, I don't care who asks Dick out. And secondly, we're not best friends, and you know it. We used to be. It's because I took up with Cheryl and Amanda, isn't it? Yeah, well, they're not my type. I'm beginning to think nobody's your type, male or female. Hey, Dick. Hey, man, you want to make some quick money? Check it out. $1,000 reward. All right, look. I say we go from class to class and we flush the sucker out. One G split in half is 500 bucks a piece. No, thanks, Penny. Well, do you want to solve it with Tracy or something? I'm here on YouTube been asking all sorts of questions. Like you, we want to do our part in cracking this thing. Oh, OK, well, we, we can split it three ways. You know, one G split in three is $333.33. I don't think so. What's it going to take? Benny, I don't want the money. I just want to find out who did it. OK, I'll keep the money. But uh, you find out anything, you let me know, OK? I set up the DVT, and it's working fine. Don't hold your breath, Bobby. The werewolf will show sooner or later, and when it does, we'll have proof. Have you ever read Macbeth? Um, I vaguely remember it. Something about Macbeth wanting to be king and killing everybody. <sighs> Including the king himself. Warning! <laughs> Aunt Claire is approaching. Hi, guys. I'm heading out to my Tai Chi class. Be back in a couple of hours. Macbeth, that's heavy reading. Yeah, it's this year's school play. You know, some actors won't go near it. Why not? The play's been thought to bring bad luck. They say it's jinxed. Really? Looks like your reward idea is paying off. You see, Bullock, you appeal to those kids, you get results. Pardon? Get these hooligans from the list they sent us and bring them in for questioning. Yes, sir. I'm going to put an end to this nonsense once and for all. What was that, sir? I could not say amen when they did say God bless us. Consider it not so deeply. But wherefore could I not pronounce amen? I had most need of blessing and amen stuck in my throat. These deeds must not be thought. I must have talked to 50 students asking them who they think could pull something like this. I checked and the police already have three names. How? Oh. They're offering money. Macbeth is quite the play. First, he murders King Duncan to steal his throne. Then he murders his best friend, Banquo, to wipe out any challengers. Nice guy. Yeah. 
Except it's Lady Macbeth who sets all the murders in motion. She's the one who persuades him to kill the king. So, moral of the story? Stay clear of Lady Macbeth. Why did you bring these daggers from the place? They must lie there. Go carry them and smear the sleepy grooms with blood. Great, Sabrina. Great. Good work. Good work, Chad. Okay, everybody. That's it for tonight. You keep this up and you'll have Macbeth down cold. I hope so. I know so. We'll see you tomorrow. So the school's still going ahead with the Sadie Hawkins dance. Yeah. I guess even werewolves can't stop a good party. <laughs> so, are you going? Um, well, as I understand it, I have to be asked first. Who so... has asked you? Um, no. Not yet. Oh, I'm sure someone will.